When did you get so fast? Holy Welcome back to Quit Playing, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're playing another ep. Uh, we decided to do another episode of uh, fucking Roller Drone because this game kicks ass. I love it um, so much. But uh, I was actually thinking. I had a conversation with somebody at work today, and uh, I realized that like I have this propensity to like say sentences oh. that like. Oh, fun. I have this, like, knack to say things that, like, people aren't expecting to hear, like, at all during their lifetime. Yeah. You know? Like, for example, a few months ago at work, I was kind of, I was talking to one of the prep okay. cooks, and, uh, he was telling me some sort of fun facts about hey. the Monsters, Inc., uh, movies, right? And we were having a little bit of like a silly conversation about Monsters Inc. And then I was like, I don't know, man. I'm not well versed enough in the finer points of Monsters Inc. lore. And then the other pep cook on the other side of the kitchen, I watched double over laughing because he was never expecting to hear that sentence ever in his life. Mm -hmm. Can you think of some other examples? Of that happening to you or elsewhere because I think that's a fascinating uh, like uh, thing to happen none that come you know? to mind off the top of my head but there is definitely a whole lot of times that you do that where I'm just like what the fuck <laughs> are you talking about right now I like to do this thing where like um, I'll like start saying something where it sounds like I know what I'm talking about and then I'll just make a fucking wide left turn. Yeah. Like earlier today when we were in the McDonald's drive through. Yeah. And I was and uh I was talking about how stupid it is that people get upset about trans people using the bathroom. Mm. And I was like <laughs> see the answer is a separate bathroom. For trans folks to use. <laughs> and I, I turned to you and I was like, you had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, wait, oh. Or you like, can't touch this, the fuck are you thinking? A lot of times at work, like, I'll, I'll be talking to somebody and notice somebody else listening to the conversation mm -hmm. and then just say something completely out of left field to make that person crack. Yeah. You can't touch this shit. It's super fun. You gotta leave them guessing, you know? Yeah. Um. Never let them know your next move. <laughs> just like Epstein. Okay. <laughs> he managed to kill himself with nothing in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, moments like that. <laughs> Stuff that I would never expect to hear, especially come out of your mouth. How do you dodge a missile in midair by dodge rolling into it? I don't know, ask the developers of this game. I honestly don't care because they it's They awesome. were too busy fucking lovingly rendering everything. Yeah, they were, they were too busy just kicking ass. Like, sorry. Like, the concept and art style of this game definitely came first. Like, this is and then amazing, they just, though. And then they just needed to make it playable. Oh, I got all five combo tokens. Yeah. But it's like, on accident. It's got like amazing reviews. Like I this I cannot sing the phrase of this game. It is I am so fun it. and fun to look at. I'm going to play this game to completion. Like <laughs> to completion. Hi, you didn't expect this, did you? That was actually pretty fucking cool, right? I'm not gonna lie. 
just fucking I air out over the whole thing. The shorts for these episodes are just gonna be like highlight clips of like cool fucking screenshots. Oh my god. Cause, this game makes like, you feel so cool. Somebody like literally said, what if Jet Set Radio but guns? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy's got a shield. Whoa, shields are new. Ooh. Oh, he's got a shield bash. Alright, heard. Try the shotgun. Break the glass, I'll break it down. Woo! As for all you suicide machines out fans out there. I broke his shield. Nice. Kick his ass. Hell yeah! Oh, he's got a dead man switch. He does have a dead man switch. You better watch out for that shit. I'll break the glass. I'll break it down. Bam, bam. Oh, fucking mind throwers. Ah, uh, he's got a bubble shield. Yeah, those guys have been a real big pain. Grind on the escalator. I uh, couldn't make it. Wall ride. Shooting the guy in the face. Rolling around at the speed <laughs> of fast. Rolling around, ah. got some guns in hand. But they're filled with rubber bullets. This ah. is it lethal. Yeah, because this is all training. This isn't training, actually. This is like an arena sport. Well, yeah, but this one specifically, like, this section of it is, like, all... This is just, like, the opening stages. Yeah, this is the opening stages. It's, like, uh, qualifiers for the actual events. So I imagine they're not doing, like, full fucking... Uh, that's not what I wanted it to do. Let's not stop in the middle of the entire fucking battlefield. Shield. You can't get me. Bow, bow, the bow. fuck you think this is? I like your speed racer helmet. Yeah. Go, speed racer. You thought wrong, sir. Karahasan. Karahasan. She shoots guys real good. You like my my little rendition of the Speed Racer theme song? I I do. I Oh my god! Ooh. You you like fell down in the air. Yeah. Uh, oh how, god. How does that work? There's of bombs everywhere all of a sudden. And yeah. shields! Ooh. What is going on? Boop! Dodge now! Yeah! Dodge. You didn't get the perfect dodge. It's whatever. You gotta do a grab trick for the token, Blair. I didn't know it was a grab trick, is it? Yeah, the triangles are. The uh, yeah, it's a, it's a safety grab. Perform a 540. That's two spinny arounds. But you gotta do it over by the token. I'm just doing my best not to die right now. Yeah, I understand that, but you gotta do it by the token, Blair. <laughs> and if you can have those TPS reports on my desk <laughs> by 4 o'clock, that'd be great. And make sure you put the new covers on those TPS reports. You got the low health. Oh god! Oh god. They put bombs right in front of the ramp flare! How dare they? Do they know who you are? You're a YouTuber with 42 <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> you better uh, show some respect. <laughs> Uh... 
She works hard for money. She works hard for money. Oh god. She works hard they for money. Thought. Dodging explosions all day. You're the best. Do a 540. That's a 360 player. What are you doing? You imbecile! I'm doing my best. I'm way over time. You are. Like, super over time? Get that fucking what? shield out of my face, dude. Elapsed time. Six minutes. Six minutes! Chicka chicka! Six minutes! Oh, whoa! Ooh. Holy shit, where'd all those bombs come from? The fucking... You got through there with 4% health. The mine guy that's right <coughs> there. Or Bow. the fucking... That's a shield, That dude. guy? That guy throws bombs? Ow. Oh, you died, you fucking loser. I did, in fact, die. That means I can restart and do it better. It does. I kind of want to try, but at the same time, I know I'm going to fail miserably, so I'm just going to let you hold the controller. <laughs> I would suggest doing what I did and like we were in between episodes and Blair was like playing this game off screen like tr getting a, a feel for it you know for like maybe an hour and now she's just like miles better than I could ever hope to be you know I mean, I say that like I'm confident in how bad I am. Like, I don't know. I only played like one level. Yeah. But you're having fun. And I I enjoy the bit that I suck at this. <laughs> so we're leaving it in. Death. Alright. I feel like I'm gonna get uh, fucking... I will have none of this positive self-talk nonsense in my house. Pressure makes diamonds, Blair. That's why we need to the safety bury guard 540. grandma under the house. I'm what? What? <laughs> what? Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> I said pressure makes diamonds. That's why we had to hide grandma under the house. That's is like an elaborate joke that'll only make sense to me in my brain because of the way I was thinking about it. Yeah. But like, I was thinking like, you have to hide grandma's body under the house so that you can claim the inheritance that you obviously like fucked with. Yeah. Like, obviously nobody's gonna it's get that part of the joke. It's a multi-layered joke that yeah. you thought like, through. Obviously nobody's gonna get that part of the joke. Yeah. And like, it's way funnier to me in my head, but I still said it because I have no self-control. You understand me? Yes. Do you understand what I go through? Sometimes I just say shit, and people are like, what? And I'm like, oh, nothing. <laughs> because I already had like half a conversation in my brain. Yeah, you know? I do that a lot of times too, although I'm not like, fully meaning to, and I end up having to explain myself a lot, but people generally get me after I explain myself. Yeah. People usually get annoyed after I explain myself. Nah, a lot of the <laughs> stuff you say is pretty funny. Or, like, makes you think about stuff, and you're like, huh. Or like the times you make uh, the occasional coworker like really worried for you. <laughs> My nonchalant like <laughs> like uh, self-deprecation. There's this one time. I'm not gonna say her name on camera, but there's this one time where <laughs> my coworker. Uh, I went outside for like a break in between like the like morning setup and like when we actually open and uh, I was outside for like maybe a little too long I admit but uh, I forgot everybody comes I came, over I here. came back inside 
and she had to put like an order of shrimp or whatever on my grill and uh you're not dead and she's like it's gonna be it's gonna be ten dollars from now on every time i need to come to your station and she like shook her head in admonishment when I opened my wallet and put ten dollars on her station <laughs> and went back to cooking. <laughs> oh my god. And she's like, boy, take your fucking money off my station. <laughs> uh, cause like... Uh, you fucking, you get what you deserve. There, there's an art to being the kind of asshole that I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know? There's just rockets behind me. Cool guys, pew, don't pew, look pew, at pew, pew, pew. Oh, now I'm you out get, of bullets. You gotta look out for those landmines. Those are the things that are fucking me. Right in the bum bum. Oh, I'm out of ammo, Danny. Right up in there. Well, do more tricks, Blair! What the fuck do you want me to do about it? Uh, fucking whine at me because you're out of ammo. What the fuck? I'm kidding. Could you imagine if I was out of defense? Ah. Oh my god! So many bombs out of nowhere! Uh, I changed places in the map and everybody went my ass. places! Whoa, there's snipers all of a sudden again? There's been snipers. I'm just in a different part of the map. Oh. I don't understand how dodge rolling through a shockwave makes you, like, immune to damage, but, like, I'll take it. Oh, God! They want you so hard. Super reflex. They ain't gonna get me. Are Not this sure? time. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. <laughs> Not this time! <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you were doing that? <laughs> no. Yeah, we're gonna get it, man. We're gonna get it. Yes. Oh, am I out of Gatorade? Every time I do that, it kind of makes me think of the scene from Rick and Morty it... with the fucking oh, uh, no. from Morty Jr. Blair. Oh, are you? No, are you, are you gonna... oh, okay. I thought I drank all my Gatorade. But the the death. Domination! Where is that from? The the Rick and Morty scene with Morty Jr. Oh yeah! <laughs> I forget what kid movie it is, but I have a distinct, like, audio memory of a line from a kid's movie I that... I need to watch uh, the fuck out! I don't know, it was some sort of talking animal thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of animal. My gut says a uh, talking cat. But I just, rem all I remember of this said movie that I like watched in my youth is just a line read from the voice actor in the movie. Again, don't know, don't remember what movie. Don't even remember you the type of- You can do what now? Don't even remember the type of cartoon animal that the voice came out of. All I remember is the line read of the guy saying, GROWL! And it always stuck with me, you know? Yeah. And if anybody watching knows what movie that came from, please do not hesitate to write it in the comments, because it- that- like question has burned in my soul for like and I, like what am I supposed to do about it? I, like I can't like Google growl because like that fucking right? that like delivery doesn't come across in text ah, form. Damn. And, like it. I can't like ask hey Google like what what movie does the maybe cartoon cat that says growl what movie is that because i want to watch it like how i don't if somebody also remembers that fucking line read please tell me what movie it was Cause, like i want to say it was 
like over the hedge maybe? No, because there was no... All of those were prey animals, except for the bear. Who obviously, who like wasn't even a bad guy. Like he just wanted his stuff back. And he stole it fair and square from the yeah. humans. Like he didn't even kill any woodland creatures for all those munchies in the blue cooler and the little red wagon. Yeah. You know? He wasn't even fucking with those guys. He went and fucked with the man, the white man, <laughs> in suburban Nowheresville, yeah. or wherever the fuck that movie takes place, and he fucking stole from the rich and gave to himself, which I commend Steal from the bear the rich for doing. Kids of and then the fucking raccoon, RJ, I think his name was. See, I can remember this shit, yeah. but not where the fucking growl came from. Yeah. Yeah. You know, why does my brain do this, Blair? I'd like to know why as well, because my brain does the same thing, pretty much. Like, but anyway, RJ steals all the shit from the bear, mm -hmm. not even intending to give it to anybody. He just wanted it for himself after the bear did all the hard work of going up to humans who presumably have guns. Yeah. And if, like, the humans in those houses didn't have guns, then, and, like, the HOA lady didn't have, like, a Glock in her purse or something, like, presumably there's cops around those humans that have and, guns. And, like, animal control, which is and, a big like, thing. animal control plays an active part in that movie. Yeah. And they presumably have trank guns. So that bear was putting himself in a lot of danger to go and steal stuff from the humans. And then the fucking RJ comes up and just takes his shit and then accidentally gives it to some people. And then fucking, like, all I'm saying is that bear should have ate the raccoon. He does get, he, he does, he, like, is really tempted, I believe. If anybody was curious about my take on early 2000s animated hit family movie Over the Hedge. I believe it's a DreamWorks title. Um. Man. The movie got me fucking... Yeah. I'm like low-key seething now. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so uh, mad at a cartoon raccoon for uh, no reason. I have an interesting thing to maybe knock you out of that. The whole, like, fact that whales have, like, dialects. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, like, the fact that a whale on have one side Have you heard about the... The, the twin serial killer whales? No. What? The fucking whales that have been fucking sinking boats in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> the what? Yeah. There's a pair of killer whales somewhere in the Pacific Ocean that have been reported Where the hell is this last oh. that have been reported like interfering with fishing boats. It's still over here. And in some cases sinking vessels. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the whales are pissed, dude. I've told you about fucking, um, the 52 hertz whale, right? Loneliest whale? I, if you haven't, I've definitely heard about it before. Uh, but, like, at some point, they found out that he has a friend. All right, oh, fun. Where is this last person? Okay. Right there, Bow. Bow, bow. I need to dodge the other way, please. Thank you. Remember Vine? Yeah. There's a Vine that lives in my head rent free. And it's the one where there's like a kid in a, like a fluffy coat, like rapping into a microphone or like air quotes rapping, I guess. Um, but he's like, uh, all I remember is he's like, Every time I'm in the street, I make that gun go. Uh, uh, ah! 
That's, that's literally the sound bite. <laughs> and, like... I don't know why, it just creases me. You know? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how I didn't get hit by any just of those. It's like, the garbled mouth noises. It they sounds. Get, they get me every it time. It sounds like a fucking. Uh, what are they called? The 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 sand I like people. That, the oh <laughs> the fucking the Tuscan Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Is it racist to call them sand people? I don't know. But I also don't think it matters. Because I'm pretty sure they're fictional, and if they're not, or even if they weren't fictional, they <laughs> are I still- I saw that rocket in my- they, they still were, like, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. You know? So... Even if it was racist, I don't think any of them... One, exist. Two, exist near enough. Or three, exist near enough in time to care. So I think we're in the clear. Okay. Let me just break that down logically. For my own sake. Oh. Wow. You've been going at this for a minute. Uh, they just keep throwing more bombs at you. And there's like nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I just keep getting more rockets and mines and dudes and fucking... D don't take that out of context, please. <laughs> rockets and mines and dudes, oh my. Rockets and dudes and fucking and... <laughs> Rockets and dudes and fucking and oh my. That's one of my, uh... That's one of my all-time favorite bits. You know how people say fucking A-man? Yeah. And, but, like, my, uh, you shorten it and just be like, fucking a man. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, thank you, Mr. Like, President. X gon' give it to you. Uh, we can use that tiniest bit of that song. Uh, like, if we wanted to. Ooh, guess the fuck not, sir. Uh. I'll take give it to me for 800, Alex. Mr. Rex, go and give it to you. Waiting for you to get it on your own. X, X going to deliver it to you. you. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> this game is living in my basement. <laughs> That was a little forced, but I admire your attempt. <laughs> <laughs> the next generation of the human race is... Cell Shaded? Unreal Engine 4? Jet Set Radio vibes? <laughs> All this and more is living in my basement? Your voice didn't like that one. Yeah, no, it's not full back yet. But that's okay. Da -da -da -da. 
Uh, oh, you tried to do a standing backflip. If this is a Tony Hawking, but yeah, see, he, he so does hard. throw out mines. He does. And that's pretty bogus. Oh, yeah, oh, he shot did. in the fucking face. You fucking Game ending it. kill cam. And that's how you fucking do it. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel. Like Comment I mean, how you liked that fucking round like there. The video. Comment how you like these. Nuts. Comment And something. also, leave a comment um, and watch out for the Mind Goblins. Um, and also, uh, but most importantly... Oh, I thought you were going to get a B. Oh, you got a time penalty. I did get it. Uh, I got a massive so time penalty.